Hey guys, so this look right here, I'm gonna show you how to get it. All right, let's bring back the 90s with this grunge beauty look. You wanna start off with a naked face by wiping it clean with a cotton pad. You should look as if you're not wearing any foundation, so try using a BB or CC cream. That's gonna help give you that no makeup look. Apply a thin layer on your face and pat to blend. Find a concealer that can cover and last. A few swipes under your panda eyes is all you really need. And with your ring fingers, pat gently to blend. And whatever's left over, just use it around the nose and on your eyelids to reduce redness. Now, you can use a powder that you're loving and dust it under the eyes. Pat some on the lids and oily areas on the face to reduce shine. If you prefer having glowing skin, just use blotting papers instead of powder. Peace out, Grease! And if you're lacking in the brow department, no worries. Just use a grayish brown powder to fill in your brows. This will create the illusion of fuller looking brows. Use a pencil to draw and redefine the brow shape. Sketch little dashes to mimic brow hairs and use the spoolie brush to soften the marks so that they don't look so drawn on. Let's break out your eyeshadows. Find a matte camel color and with your brush, all you really need is an applicator and blender. And use this color along the outer third of your eyes to create the illusion of depth and shadow. Load a little bit of the camo color on your blender brush and buff the color along the outer third again to create a hazier look. Follow the natural contours on your eyes. You'll notice right away how big they're gonna look. Find a moss color with a pearl finish and dab this color along the outer lash line. This is going to help widen the shape of your eyes, giving them a sexier look. And just top off your eye makeup with a metallic gray denim color. And you can use your clean ring finger for this part. Just pat it on the center of the lids and use your brush to feather it out for a smoldering finish. If you have a dark brown eyeliner color, use this under the lower lash line and outer upper lash line. This will help accentuate the shape of your beautiful eyes. If you already have curly lashes, just skip this step. But if you don't, use a lash curler to perk up them lashes. This opens up the eyes right away. Find a mascara that can give you sky-high lashes. Sweep generous coats through the lashes and watch them grow. And just keep applying generous coats until you've reached a length you're happy with. Because we're gonna use a lip liner, prep your lips first with a lip balm. And I'm just gonna use a very light layer of my pillow plush in berries. For the cheeks, you can either contour for that supermodel sunken in cheekbones, or use a mauvey blush for a light touch of color on the cheeks. Try and avoid pink and peach, it's not gonna work with this color palette. Add this on the cheekbones and blend with your fingers. Another way to apply is to load the color directly on your fingers first, quickly patting the cheek area for that blushing finish. With a dark red or plum lip color, outline your lips first. This will prevent your lip color from feathering. And then just fill in your lips to help boost the longevity of your lip color. Very nice. On to the lip color. Find a dark plum or oxblood lip color and paint this rich color on the lips. Try and use a brush, especially when you're working with a dark color so that you can have an even application. And for my nails, I decided to wear a dark red wine color. Who would have guessed? They now make hair CC cream. Crazy. So use your favorite styling cream and warm it up between your fingers first before running them through the hair for that textured bedhead finish. Looking good. And if you want that finishing touch, just enhance your scent with a light fragrance. And this is why I love rollerball fragrances because a light touch on my wrist is all I really need. And if you want to grab that special someone's attention, just add a little bit behind your ears. You know what I'm saying? You should smell as good as you look. All right, beautiful. Just share your grunge beauty look to me by hashtagging Mishlook. And if you happen to get lipstick on your teeth, 
Just use the thumb sucking technique and you'll be good to go. All right, everyone, I hope you had fun with this tutorial and good luck. Thank you.